Hey everyone, I'm back with another quick video. And today I'm going to show you how to use this program called Robocopy, which comes free as part of Windows to transfer any files or folders that you have from one location to another. So let's just jump right into it. First thing you'll want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and start command prompt. You can do that by typing CMD in your search box. And once you find command prompt, you'll want to right click on it and click this option here that says run as administrator. Now, once that you have that done, um, the syntax is pretty simple. You'll just want to type the word robocopy. And then all you'll need for the next section is just your source location, which is the files that you want to copy or your folders and the destination. And that's it. Um, all you can you can go ahead and get a little bit more complicated by adding like these flags and stuff but for the majority of people this, this simple command is all you really need so again all you have to do is type robocopy now find the folder that you want mine's is in this temp drive and it's called test one here i'm going to go ahead and copy that all right so once i have that done go back to command prompt paste that in there and I am going to put it on my flash drive here which is the E drive and as you can see there's nothing in here and I will put it in E and I'm going to put test one as the destination folder now again there's nothing in here and what this will do it will create that folder automatically for me and then put all the files so once you have that go ahead and hit enter let it take its time, go all the way through. You'll see all the output here. And in about another minute or so, hopefully it should complete. And it's all done. And the good thing about Robocopy, it gives you a nice little summary here at the end. It tells you um, how much directories or folders that you had, how much files that you had that successfully copied over, the size of them, and the time it took. And for this, it only took 23 seconds. So once that's done, um, you can see here, I go back to my E drive. It created that test folder, and it put all the files in here. Well, I did mention earlier in the video that there are different um, flags that you can set for Robocopy. It's for more... Um, intermediate and advanced use. Um, good use cases for that or if you have like NTFS permissions and stuff, if you want to do mirroring, if you want files that are, if you want to copy files, you know, for a certain date, all sorts of different cool stuff you can use Robocopy for. So if you are interested in, in that video with those different commands, please let me know in the comments and I can come back and make that video for you. So once again, Sean Sims Tech, thank you.